okay guys so we have finished the first two exercises and the two questions of exercise 4.3 in our previous videos and we are continuing with the chapter of quadratic equations so let's go to question number three so it says find the roots of the following equations so my first equation is x minus 1 by x is equal to 3 where x is not equal to 0 okay what why they write like that if x had been 0 then it would have become 1 by 0 right so that would have been imaginary number correct so that's why they always write it down when something is in denominator so it's not equal to 0 so it's not an imaginary number there okay so now let's solve this now so solution so we have uh, x minus x so i can take the lcm and my x will go that side right so x square minus 1 is equal to 3x and i have to write down my quadratic equation in the form of uh, x square a x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 so let me bring 3x this side so x square minus 3x minus 1 is equal to 0 we know this is a quadratic equation and uh, on comparing with the general form of quadratic equation that is ax square plus bx plus c my a i can see is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 3 and c is equal to minus 1 so i have written down these now i can uh, substitute in my quadratic form formula see there are so many ways of solving the quadratic equation we have uh, already gone through like the factorization which we had done in the previous grades also and then we had the completing square method and this way is uh, like substituting in the quadratic formula and the quadratic formula also we derived from the completing square methods correct so now we can just now substitute so my x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a okay so now my x minus b so minus 3 this becomes plus 3 and uh, plus minus b square is 9 minus 4 into a is 1 and c is minus 1 by 2 into 1 okay now x is equal to 3 plus minus now i have here uh, 9 and this becomes 4 because minus minus becomes 4 and plus 4 by 2 okay so my x is equal to 3 plus minus this is root 13 by 2 okay so i can't find out the square root of 2 so my x would be equal to uh, 3 right so x would be equal to 3 plus root 13 by 2 and or x is equal to 3 minus root 13 by 2 so these are my two answers so i can write down find the roots right so x is equal to this or this so i can write down this as my answer now let's move to second part second part uh, is 1 by x plus 4 minus 1 by x minus 7 is equal to 11 by 30 and it says x is not equal to minus 4 or plus 7 right so again we know why they have given this because if x is minus 4 my first term would become imaginary number if my x is plus 7 then my second term would be 0 so it would have become imaginary number so plus 7 minus 7 would become 0 okay let's go to the solution now so solution says uh, I think I can take the LCM right guys so I can take x minus 7 1 because uh, 1 minus 1 into x plus 4 and my denominator would have x plus 4 and x minus 7 right so this is equal to 11 by 30 okay now in second step i'll open the brackets and uh, i will also cross multiply right so this would be 30 here and this would be in the bracket right it would be x minus 7 minus x minus 4 right and here on the right hand side i'll take 11 into x plus 4 into x minus 7 okay so now here uh, 30 and then x and x gets cancelled i get minus 11 here this is equal to 
uh, i'll keep it as it is and i will multiply the binomials correct so x square and then minus 7x plus 4x and minus 28 so that would be my product now 11 i can bring it this side and this equation i can uh, solve and write on the left hand side so x square and minus 3x minus 28 right is equal to 30 into minus 11 by 11 so this in this gets cancelled so i get x square minus 3x minus 28 and minus 30 now it was minus 30 that side so when it comes to this side it becomes plus 30 so equal to 0 i have brought it this side now x square minus 3x and this becomes plus 2 is equal to 0 so this is i can see that this is my quadratic equation as compared to my general form of quadratic equation which is ax square plus bx plus c guys right okay now i'll find out according to that a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 3 and my c is equal to 2 now my quadratic formula so x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a now x is equal to minus 3 so this also becomes plus 3 here plus minus my b square will be 9 and minus 4 into a is 1 and c is 2 then 2 into 1 okay so my x is equal to 3 plus minus now this would be 9 and this would be minus 8 by 2 okay so x is equal to 3 plus minus uh, i'll get 1 by 2 so this would be equal to 3 plus minus 1 by 2 so i get x is equal to if i add 3 plus 1 by 2 or 3 minus 1 by 2 so x is equal to 4 by 2 and this is equal to or uh, 2 by 2 right so this becomes 1 and this becomes 2 so my x is equal to 2 or it is equal to 1 so that's the answer so okay we have finished the third question of exercise 4.3 in this video and now we will be doing the next questions in our next video so stay tuned and uh, see you guys